Welcome to Luke Loses, less of a podcast, more of a journal. I have no fitness or nutrition education. Everything I talk about here is from asking people questions or searching the internet. If you are interested in following my progress, I have an Instagram set up at luke.loses. Feel free to message me there for any questions, topic ideas, or even give me tips on weight loss. Hello, welcome, and thank you for checking out the first episode of Luke Loses. I found this platform and thought it would be really cool to document my journey, use it somewhat of a journal, mainly because I'd rather talk than write. This episode is going to be about me, where I'm at, where I've been, and what I plan on doing for the future. I'll start off. My name is Luke. I'm 31 years old. My dad had two daughters that were older, and they were out of the house. Uh, My mother had two sons. They were older, out of the house. So together, it was just my sister and I. We grew up in a small town, and it was just her and I, the only kids in the neighborhood for most of my childhood. My parents provided for us really good. I never wanted for anything. We never went hungry. But being the only kids in the neighborhood, I spent a lot of alone time. My sister was too cool to hang out with baby brother. I remember spending a lot of time playing video games or watching TV in my room by myself. And I learned pretty young that I knew I loved to eat. It was a passion. I would sneak downstairs in the middle of the night and sneak food upstairs and just eat and eat and eat. I, uh, my mother would buy us snack cakes and stuff and I would empty the box into the snack drawer so they wouldn't know how many were actually missing so I could just keep eating them. There were times that I would walk or ride my bike three and a half miles one way just to take the stolen change jar that I had and blow $10 on junk food, pop, candy, anything I could think of. I was pretty skinny up until about sixth grade. That's when I started putting on weight. I switched schools and the the new school was pretty far away. So my mom would drive me to school most days. And on our way, we would end up stopping at a gas station and I would buy hot chocolate, coffee, gum, candy, snack cakes, energy drinks, so on and so forth. Every day, it became a reoccurring thing. As I started to get bigger, I don't think the kids at my school were intentionally being mean, but, you know, kids can be mean, and my nickname became Fat or Sausage Fingers. I ended up turning to humor, trying to be the funny fat guy so I could hide my sadness. I remember I would take pride in overeating and there was this one time we did a pizza eating contest and I ate a large pizza in three minutes and 56 seconds. I ended up graduating at 270 pounds. After I graduated, I worked a lot of factory jobs on third shift. So I did a lot of sleeping and eating junk food. As I got bigger, I started to get more anxious and depressed. And I even started to distance myself from friends and family. Up until about 2013, I didn't really think about exercising or trying to lose weight. I ended up go into a gym in the fall of 2013 and I hit it hard I ended up going two hours in the morning to do just straight cardio and then two hours in the afternoon where I would lift and I would run to and from the gym from my apartment and in my free time I would exercise so like on my lunch break at work I would you know run for 10 minutes out and then 10 minutes back And I never counted that as cardio. I did any kind of lifting or anything I could at home in my free time. I was eating 1,200 calories a day and I was burning 1,700. 
I ended up losing just over 100 pounds in six months, and I loved my body. I was buff. I was fit. I looked good. I felt good. But I met my wife, and I would rather spend time with her than go to the gym. I remember her encouraging me going to the gym, and I would just say, now let's go get a pizza. And that junk food once a week became an everyday a thing and I eventually lost all my my gains and ballooned back up and I even gained weight a few years passed and the talk of going to the gym again came up and I just said yeah let's do it my wife and I got a gym with a, a trainer where we would work out three days a week with her but it was a CrossFit and I didn't really want to lose the weight. I wanted it to happen, but I didn't want to work for it. I ended up losing like 60 pounds, but I ended up giving up, making some excuse. I I can't remember if it was a, my bad knee or I had a headache and then eventually we just stopped going. I gained all my weight back from that after that as well. And then in 2018 I found a guy online who was a coach that was an accountability coach Uh, he had lost a bunch of weight and I thought well if he can do it I can do it Thanksgiving day I started working with him in 2018 I started counting my calories Uh, I didn't exercise I still wanted to be lazy I didn't want to work for it I wanted it to happen but I ended up losing weight. I lost like 130 pounds. I eventually got a bicycle and rode a bike on occasion. Uh, But I started to plateau and I gave up. And I thought to myself, if I'm putting in the work and I'm eating right and I'm not losing weight, might as well do whatever I want to do anyways. So in the past seven years, I've tried to lose weight time and time again. I ended up losing over 360 pounds altogether, but I could never keep it off. September of 2020, I went to the doctor because I've got high blood pressure, I've got anxiety, and I believe I have sleep apnea. And I was bigger than I've ever been at 422 pounds. I was asking the doctor what my options are, whether it's surgery or prescription or whatever I could do. And she recommended me finding a binge eating group on Facebook. And that's where I found out about food addiction. Food addiction is described as the compulsive, uncontrollable urge to eat food. This behavior may occur into response of an emotion such as stress, sadness, or anger. So I started researching that more and more and found out that it can cause the same kind of change in your brain in the reward center as drugs like cocaine or opiates. To me, I'm still at the point where it's kind of crazy that there is food addiction and some people can compare it to a cocaine problem. But after diving into it and looking at it, it's real. Like, there's, I'll tell you some stories like I remember going to get the family food and I would go to a McDonald's and spend $15 on myself, eat it all up before I got home with the pizza that we ordered and then I would still eat pizza. Or I would go to a restaurant and pick up food and bring it home to the family and I would eat two giant slices of cheesecake on my way home and then, you know, throw away the garbage so nobody knew I was eating like that that's crazy and it's a it's a fiend and I want to do better so this is where I'm at I'm a food addict and I'm in recovery I've been counting my calories moving a lot more I've been going to the gym four to six days a week cardio every day lifting about four or five of those days and I've been reading whatever I can get my hands on. I've been listening to podcasts or watching videos on YouTube. Anything that can help me with my struggle. I am looking forward to my future. I 
I'm excited. I am working at it and I I'm, believe I'm in the right mindset to put the weight off. And then if I can just get to that point to where what to do after I lose the weight and how to keep it off, I think we'll be set. So to end each episode, I'm going to do a weigh in. So September 22nd, I weighed 422 pounds. Today, when I stepped on the scale, I was 384 pounds. So that's that. Thanks for listening. You can always reach out to me on Instagram at luke.loses with any questions, comments, or topic ideas. If you could follow, subscribe, and leave a review, it would be much appreciated. Until next time, stay positive, do the work, and trust the process.